Hi folks, I really enjoyed watching the Friends reunion this week. It was great to see them all back together again. Um, and so I thought it'd be really fun to do a Friends based tutorial. And my favourite character in Friends is Ross. He always gets the silliest moments. And so I thought it'd be fun to do one of his costumes that he does. So here's a tutorial of Ross Geller as Spudnik. Um, feel free to pause at any point and just let me know how you get on. And also remember to like and subscribe. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to start with a line going across like that, and then we're going to do a little square bit on the end and a square bit on the end like that. Then do a half circle going up, around, and down. And then we do a little faint line with two dots just in the middle like this. Once we've got that, I'm going to do two little lines up the top and then a circle going around like this. And then we're going to do a faint line on the inside of that circle around and down like that. That makes his antenna on top. Once you've got that I'm going to do a line going up and over to make an eyebrow and make it quite dark so it's got quite thick eyebrows. And another one on that side. And then we're going to do two faint lines going down. Then do a little circle on the bottom with two nostrils there. Then we do a sort of circle for an eye like that, so it's a sort of squishy sort of circle, and another on that side. Then a faint eyelid, and then two dots in the middle for the eyes. Now down this way, probably about just about a little bit less than the length of the nose from the eyes. We're going to do a little mark for the mouth. And we're going to bring it over and up and over and up like that. And then do two lines either side of the mouth. Then we do a little square on the bottom with a mark for the tooth like that. Once we've got that, we'll do a bottom lip under there. And then a sort of rounded chin underneath here. With a little mark to mark it off. Now to make the shape of the face going down to here, we're gonna bring a line down the side, curve it around and in, and down, curve it around and in like that. I'm going to put some dark marks on there for the side of the straps and a little faint mark under the chin for it going under his chin strap. Then we've got a couple of faint marks for some ears and put a couple of little hairs just on the side. Then just underneath here a couple of little marks to make his neck. Now what we want to do is do a line going underneath and round like that. And then finish that neck off and put the hint of some shoulders underneath the costume. And we we'll line up the side and round and down. Up the side, round and down. Like that. Then I'm going to do from here, line going out and down to there, and the same on that side. And then we're going to bring a line over like that, over like that, same on this side. 
and these are these arms, so put some cuffs on these arms like that. And then we're going to join these lines up. Then we're going to put some hands, so put a line going up like that, and then a little finger, and you can hint some other fingers. Same again this side, finger like that. Bring that up slightly. And then I'm going to bring a line going down and around like this. Then I'm going to put a slightly wibbly sort of circle like this, sort of squash sort of circle. And then again around the outside to make these sort of potato marks. Same again there. Wiggly squash circle with another one around the outside. And then again down here. And that side. And we're going to do one going off the side here slightly. And once you've got that. Into a couple of little legs sticking out the bottom. So two lines, and two lines, at the edge of the trousers, and a foot coming out like that. And a foot coming out that side. A couple of laces, and then the sole of the shoe like this. Some little scruffy marks on the potato. Just to kind of make it look all old, sort of an old scruffy costume. And put some shine marks on the hat as well, so a couple of little circles like that. Another one that side maybe. There's a couple of lines under here for the feet. So one last final touch in this picture is I'm going to draw the two little antenna sticks coming out like this. One there. And one that's a long stick with a little circle at the end. Just to put his antenna sticks. And there you have Ross Geller as Budnick.